feel good. I'm happy to be doing this. I feel confident, that's for sure. But I guess there's, there's, there's a little nervousness along the way since yeah. the first time. You've worked in the constituency for a long time, and the opposition is charging that there was poor representation in St. John's. How would you respond to that? I find it almost funny that the BLC could even comment on any sort of representation in St. John's, since um, they what, basically turn up every five years, set up a branch office for two weeks, and then disappear after the election. They certainly have done nothing in or for St. John, and they have been in power for more than half of the, the, the time that they are complaining that nothing was done. And what are your intentions to do? Um, well, I'm not sure that I want to unfold my, my manifesto right here right now, but I, I do have what well, I would like to see certain things done, namely the polyclinics continuation of roads that need to be done, of course housing for John families. Um, I, won't, I won't say any more than that. Mr. Jones, how was the Well, as, as you would be aware, the Democratic Labour Party is a well-oiled machine. Um, you'll be able, of course, and you will see it on poll in the next few days. Um, persons would have spoken, especially from the Barbers Labour Party, but we well understand the propagandistic tendencies of the Barbados Labour Party. But we would have been putting systems in place over weeks um, to ensure that whoever was our candidate, and we have in fact selected the right candidate for the people of St. John. And you will see an outpouring and an outflow of our systems and our strategies not based on propaganda, but based on substance and delivery of that substance for the people of St. John. I heard you ask the candidate of the Democratic Labour Party about comments made um, by the Barbers Labour Party relative to what they consider to be the neglect. But let us remember that for 24 years, in the last 40 years of the representation of St. John, the Barbers Labour Party was in power. And they treated St. John, just as they treated St. Lucy. They neglected these two constituencies in a most vicious and vigorous way. The candidate, um, Mark Thompson, Thompson, spoke to the St. John Poly, uh, Polyclinic. And you remember that that polyclinic was started in a difficult period in the economy of Barbados. But for 14 years, 14 years, nothing was done to that um, polyclinic. It was left for persons to just invade and to find shelter at that period of time. And I'm sure that the Minister of Health will speak as to what will happen in the um, St. John Polyclinic, and it would not be anything new, because we would have been speaking to the people of Barbados, and there would have been proposals out into the, in, in, out into the public arena in relation to the Polyclinic for St. John. So this is nothing new that we're forcing on the people of St. John or the people of Barbados. So we want to put to rest the nonsense but you have, you, these things happen every five years or near to that as possible. Unfortunately, this interregnum, occasioned by the death of the late beloved Prime Minister, will cause them again to break their own internal destruction, to bring that destruction now to the people of St. John. And one would hope that a son of the St. John soil in the name of their, their candidate would grow silent in the presence of the kind of representation which will continue for the people of St. John under the careful, well-articulate um, leadership of Mara Thompson in St. John. We will leave no stones unturned to ensure that the people of St. John will continue to get good and effective representation. Say no more.